Lesson 15 Food for Plants and Animals Hello children, can you name the living things that make their own food? Yes, plants make their own food using the energy from sun. This process is called photosynthesis, where photo means light and synthesis means putting together. During photosynthesis, Plants get water from the soil and carbon dioxide from the air. The process of photosynthesis takes place in the leaves. Leaves are also called the food factories of the plant. Leaves contain a green-colored pigment called chlorophyll that traps the energy of sun. The products of photosynthesis are sugar, oxygen and water vapor. The oxygen released during photosynthesis is used by humans for breathing. Sugar is converted into starch. The food produced by the plant is used for its growth, while the rest is stored in different plant parts. Potato, beetroot, carrot etc. are all examples of food stored by plants. Green plants are called producers or autotrophs because they can make their own food. Children, can all plants make their own food? No, non-green plants cannot make their own food. Molds and mushrooms obtain food from dead and decaying matter present in the soil. Dodder or amarbale is a parasitic plant with only a stem. It obtains food by twining itself around the stem of another plant and sucks water and minerals from it. Venus flytrap, sundew and pitcher plant are examples of insectivorous plants. They grow in soil which is poor in nutrients and hence they trap insects to get enough nitrogen. The leaves of a pitcher plant are in the form of a pitcher or vase. Sweet-smelling nectar is present inside the pitcher that attracts insects. The inside of the leaf is slippery and is covered with downward pointing hair. The insect that sits on the leaf slides down and drowns in the nectar. The leaves of a sundew plant are covered with thin hair which have a sticky liquid on them. The drops shine when sunlight falls on them, attracting insects. On touching a drop, the insects get stuck to it and the hairs tighten their grip. The insect gets suffocated and gets digested by the digestive juices of the plant. Like non-green plants, animals also depend on green plants for their food. Depending on the kind of food animals eat, they can be grouped as Carnivores that kill other animals and eat their flesh like lion, tiger and eagle. Herbivores that are plant-eating animals like cow, goat and deer. Omnivores that eat both plants and animals like cow, cockroach, bear and man. Scavengers that eat the flesh of dead animals like vultures and hyena. Decomposers that feed on dead and decaying plants and animals like bacteria and fungi. So all animals directly or indirectly depend on plants. Children, what is a food chain? Have you ever heard about it? A food chain is a sequence of organisms in which every organism is food for the next. A food relationship exists between plants and animals that is shown by the food chain. For example, grass makes food in the presence of sunlight and is eaten by zebra. The zebra is eaten by a lion. Lion when dies decomposes and gives nutrients to plants. Similarly, algae is eaten by small fish. Small fish are eaten by big fish and big fish are eaten by bear. 
bear when dies decomposes and gives nutrients to plants so all the food chains start with green plants all plant eaters are first consumers animals that eat the flesh of plant eating animals are the second consumers all food chains end with decomposers many food chains are interlinked to form a food web for example plants can be eaten by rabbits rats birds grasshoppers or insects rats can be eaten by hawk or snake snakes can be eaten by hawks and so on thus a balance in nature is maintained between different animals and plants through food chains and food webs